Hello, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's local SEO video, Google my business tips and tactics, hacks, that your competition is just scared to use. Now, in this Google my business local SEO video, I'm going to cover at least seven tips that I know your competition is just scared to use, and that is why you will dominate in 2020. So first and foremost, I want to touch on the premise of did you know, and I want to start this off did you know that you could just go out and start claiming businesses that have not been claimed now there will be a little bit of creative thinking when claiming these businesses you will have to create locations however this is absolutely obtainable and it's something that you could do with a little bit of creativity so this is what a listing would look like if you want to know what it's like to see a business that has not been claimed claim a location um if it's in a dense city i can almost guarantee you that they have been claimed already probably however there are other places that you can feel free to go ahead and start claiming businesses with a little bit of creativity now i want to touch on using unverified listings to rank yes i know that it is best practice to get your listings verified but i want to let you know that it is absolutely obtainable to rank a gmb that is unverified now i want to cover a couple of tips really quick uh that you may not know um as far as creating these mass amounts of google my businesses so you want to start off with a fresh gmail now a fresh gmail it should have your business name in it so business name at gmail.com would be best practice now once you have created this it would be advisable to go and perform some actions some local actions in that browser now before you go ahead and just create that you need to know that it should be on its own IP from that state or city so if you can get a proxy or a VPN that has numerous cities that you can choose from preferably a proxy that's private would be absolutely crucial so that's two things one you need to create a fresh gmail two you need to start performing actions within that browser on that gmail google keeps track the third thing is is use a fresh ip and the fourth thing is you do not want to create a footprint so don't go put in uh, business name one uh, at gmail.com business name two at gmail.com make sure that it's different make sure you're using different IPs this will take time but it will be beneficial for you ranking on verified GMBs now I want to go ahead and touch on using hidden addresses now of course you can use hidden addresses in order to rank but it is not advisable it's achievable to rank but in order to rank a hidden address it will take more citations and more link building which is more cost up front so i get that question quite frequently can you rank with a hidden address is it um a good idea to hide the address in my opinion no it is not no legitimate business is hiding their address now this is completely going to be up to the competition now competition is going to be the number one reason why a listing gets taken down if you go and claim a business if you go create a listing that's unverified the number one way to get your listings taken down is competition in the neighborhoods so depending on your niche and the competition will depend on your success of acquiring unverified listings and creating unverified listings so i want to make sure that you know to use a vpn use a fresh gmail um don't leave any footprints and most of all this is where some, a lot of people mess up make sure you perform actions with that gmail on that ip within that browser google keeps track google knows it's called an aged 
Gmail, all right? People will offer this as a service, a service, but do not trust those. Go and create them on your own. Spend the time, spend the effort. It will be worth your efforts. Now, let's go ahead and just move on into, so let's say you go and create a GMB and you are able to acquire and get the GMB verified. Now, a lot of people mess this step up. So let me go ahead and uh, paint a picture so people could further understand. So you have your GMB listing. Okay, so you have your GMB. Now the GMB, in my opinion, and, and it should change for each of them to not leave a footprint, but it should be set up like this. So you're going to have your company name, okay? So company, and then it's going to be city, and then keyword, all right, keyword. So company, city, keyword. Now this is the step that is crucial that a lot of people mess up. Once you get this verified, once you have set up and optimized your GMB, when you're running multiple Google My Business GMB accounts, each of the GMB properties needs to have its own website that it's pointing to. Each of them could be, we could say we have, um, these are also known as doorway pages, but we have our main homepage. It's all about our service. And then off of that, of course, is our about us. And then there's the contact. And then there's a city page. But this whole mini site, right? This is the most effective way. This whole mini site is around the city. It's all about the city. It's all about the service. It's all about that particular property and that entity. But this GMB is pointing to the city page so these are your filler pages contact us about us and then all about the services here so this is the service page okay now we're going to point the gmb to this but regardless of however many gmbs we are able to acquire and create it's always going to be this same process here and we're going to point it to the city page. This will further increase the rank of the city page and give you a better opportunity of ranking higher within Google Maps. Now that leads me to the next point. Let's go ahead and clear this off. So the very next tip is this, uh, and this is probably going to be common sense. If you're looking at the search, the search engine results page all right and you have your ads okay and if right here right we do not have our maps then this would not be a good location to try to acquire a google my business you need to make sure that the serp is displaying maps now this is very very crucial now another step that i want to go ahead and touch on is when creating multiple gmbs right and you have all of these properties like in the past uh explanation and all of this really ties together when you're creating multiple uh gmbs and each of them have their own entity so like we talked about before so you have the gmb and then each gmb is linking out to its own little mini site right this is a mini site and this is the city page okay each of these are going here now you have multiple of these. Let's say you make 20 of these, right? Unverified or verified, preferably verified, but you can rank unverified. Each one of these 20, either let's say there's 20 of these units, GMB, right? GMB. None of these will ever be connected in any way. That's different IPs, different Gmails, different browser setups, different phone numbers. You can acquire virtual phone numbers in order order to fulfill this process so now the very last thing that I want to talk about and that was seven different things that I I went ahead and I covered I want to go ahead and touch on reviews now we have talked about reviews in the past okay we have talked about the importance of having local guide reviews and so that's local guides and we have also covered the importance of having certain bolded words within the review you want to make sure that those words are also included within your listing but the tip that I want to cover today is this there is some type of algorithm 
okay within the reviews that is triggered if it's too long if it contains too bland of sentences if it if it seems as though and there's something algorithmically I've been testing this I can't really put my finger on it but there's something within the algorithm or from the accounts or whatever the case is is if you're curating and buying reviews there is something that triggers so you need to make sure that the reviews that are being left can are coming from local guides contain the bolded words are not too long and are not written too blandly or bought from a service that is leaving reviews from all over the nation so that's really gonna wrap up these tips these local SEO tips these Google my business tips that your competition is too scared to use setting up unverified going out and claiming verified setting up multiple listings creating the pages actually putting in the work of what it takes to acquire the leads and the clients that your business deserves so my name is Chris Palmer if you have any questions regarding local SEO if you have questions regarding Google my business please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you in the next local SEO Google my business video have a wonderful day